Often there's a confusion between heart attack and heart failure. Heart attack results from blockage of the arteries causing damage to the heart muscle. And the prognosis of heart attack depends upon how quickly you reach the hospital. Many people understand the symptoms of heart attack such as chest pain, tightness, but only a small fraction of the patients call for help calling 911. Time is muscle. Sooner you go to the hospital, you can prevent damage to the heart muscle and improve survival and prognosis. Often patients reach late, which results in substantial damage to the heart muscle, which can lead to heart failure. So heart failure is a condition where the heart is unable to pump the blood to meet the demands of the body. There are two types of heart failure. 50% of the time, patients have what is called decreased pumping ability of the heart leading to heart failure, which is caused usually by heart attack, valvular heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes. On the other hand, other 50% of the patients have what is called diastolic heart failure, where the pumping ability of the heart is normal, but it is stiff and doesn't relax, leading to buildup of pressures in the lungs and fluid, leading to shortness of breath like symptoms. So when in doubt, when you have a symptoms of shortness of breath, swelling of the legs, or you're not able to lie down flat in bed during the night, or you have unexplained cough, you should seek medical help. If you're having a chest pain with exertion or emotional stress, particularly if you're a middle-aged man or women, you should contact a cardiologist. He would take an EKG and if necessary, do a stress test to make sure that your symptoms are not coming from the blocked arteries. Depending upon how poorly you do on a stress test, you may need coronary angiogram and depending upon number of arteries obstructed, you may need just a medical therapy or stent placement or in some cases bypass surgery. There are nearly 5 million Americans with a heart failure, putting a price tag of $30 billion. It is a very expensive disease, putting a tremendous economic burden on our society. We have come a long way in treating heart failure. First of all, the prognosis has been quite poor until recently. Nearly 50% of the patients were dead within five years after the diagnosis of heart failure. But now, thanks to the technology and the new drugs, we can improve symptoms and also prolong survival. We can prevent sudden cardiac death in these patients by using implantable defibrillator. Most importantly, prevention of heart failure is what the focus should be. In other words, you should have your blood pressure controlled appropriately. If you're having symptoms of a heart attack, go to the hospital and be treated and prevent significant damage to your heart muscle.